Introduce yourself. It's your boy T Pain, aka Ted the Pender Ass Down, aka Ted Bunny the Bathroom Banger, aka Three Times If You Let Me, aka The Hottest Thing Since That Grease Burns on Your Right Arm, aka Tedrick Sabali Slam Dunking Hits on These Niggas, aka Teddy Hill Figure. I don't want none of these niggas wearing my shit. Wow, that's a lot right there. Yeah, that's nice more. So you're about to drop a mixtape? Yes sir, yes sir. Tell us about the mixtape. Mixtape is called Stoic, and basically Stoic means um, a person that's, that's able to take great amounts of pain without showing emotion. So you know, that's what we're doing this time around. I, I, I'm just showing everybody how much I really don't give a shit about what y'all say. So how did you just come up with that? <laughs> oh, yeah, audio. It's just been something I've been trying to express for a little while, man, so... You know, I, I, I try to let people know that no matter what you say, I'm, I'm probably not only, you know, not going to give a shit about it, I'm going to use it against you. You know, the more people the more people made fun of AutoTune, the more money I started making off of it. You know what I'm saying? The more apps I made, the more websites I made, the more uh, computer software I made. And you just keep making fun of it so I can find out the ways that's making you pay attention to it. You ain't doing nothing but showing me who the demographic is, baby. I'm a dumb, I'm, I'm gonna execute, believe it. Why, why are you dropping a mixtape instead of an EP or an album? You know, people, people, um, yeah, people ask me that a lot. It, it's basically because you got more freedom with a mixtape. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you want to sample something on an album, you got to get it clear. You got to go through millions of record labels. You got to go through people. You got to go, you got to play this person. You got to pay this person because they wrote one word on the hook. You got to do all this mixtape. You ain't got to clear nothing because you ain't making no money off of it. You know what I'm saying? And then at the same time, you still get shows from mixtape. You, you know, people can tour from mixtapes. So in turn, you still make money. You just don't make money off the sales and stuff, but you still get the freedom that you want. You, you know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't get held back from doing what you want to. You can't get can't get stifled. They don't stifle your music when you're doing a mixtape. When you're doing an album, everybody got control over your shit. As much as people say that they have control or creative control over their shit, man, they, they know they don't. They they have no control, man. I mean, you can you got control over the music you make in the studio, but you know, when you go back to that label and they say, Well, nah, we need a, we need some more singles or we need a better album, that's when you lost control. They're not putting your shit out if you don't come back with better songs that they like. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna, you know what I'm saying? Ain't that, everybody can say, I, I do all my shit. I do, yeah, you do all your shit till it's time to put it out. If they don't like it, you need to go back to your ass in the studio. And that's when you ain't got no control. So let me ask you, with this mixtape, if it's successful, will you do like some people did and just turn it into an album? Not at all. I'm gonna keep doing mixtapes. I'm gonna do a bunch of fucking mixtapes. <laughs> <laughs> So are you saying the album game is over with for you, or? The album game is over with for everybody. Except for Jay. Jay's still going strong. He's doing good. And mm -hmm. Drake, I guess. And Drake? I guess. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Who's on the mixtape? Uh, I got Pitbull. Um, what's the dude's name, man? I got uh, Tech Nine, Chris Calico, um, all the Nappy Boy artists, Tay Dism, Young Cash, Shauna. Um, Shay Mooney, Scott Griffin, who else is on this motherfucker, man? Um, Diddy, Travis McCoy. It's a lot. It's not every track, but I try to keep it simple, man. I did my own thing on this one, so you know. That, that's great. Yeah. Um, tell us about the video you're about to introduce. Video I'm about to introduce, don't you quit? It's basically um. I travel through my 8-bit world, man, you know what I'm saying, everything's going digital these days, so, you know, why not go back to the origin, all 8-bit everything, you know what I'm saying, got the 8-bit shades, you know what I'm saying, 8-bit shirt, got more 8-bit shades, you know, we going in, man, it's about that time, it's about that time, 8-bit all the way through, that's what I'm working with right now. Alright, just sign off. That is your boy T-Pain right here, man. Get ready for the new video. Don't you quit. I'll let you boy. <laughs>